in fabulous Disneyland Park at Anaheim, California, where in Tomorrowland, the future becomes the present. Monsanto Chemical Company, Plastics Division, presents the Monsanto House of the Future. Tomorrow always holds the promise of something new and exciting. And this strangely graceful, bold, and creative building bears out that promise. But tomorrow is always built on today. And that is where our story begins. A story of plastics, the newest and most challenging category of building materials. Let's start here in one of today's modern building developments. Inside new homes like these, yes, and countless older homes, a revolution has quietly been taking place over the past 10 or 15 years. So quietly, in fact, that it has been all but overlooked. Plastic materials for more than 50 separate uses have moved in to stay. To name a few, vinyl wire coatings, styrene light diffusers, vinyl floor coverings, melamine countertops, styrene tiling, structural adhesives, and outside in basic construction, vapor barriers and insulation, cold water pipes, plastic-based paints, and many, many more, with new uses being found daily and new materials to meet the new demands. Yes, today this is the situation. More than 15% of the entire plastic industry's output goes into home uses, functional and decorative. This is indeed a revolution. But since revolutions are by their very nature disorderly and disorganized, Monsanto's Plastics Division here in Springfield, Massachusetts, teamed up a few years ago with Massachusetts Institute of Technology to help give some form and direction to the spontaneous growth of plastics in modern buildings. The result came to be known as a Plastics and Housing Research and Development Program. Its objective? To develop plastics as sound engineering materials and help the construction industry utilize new designs and materials to achieve production line methods and facilities. Actually, there were two possible ways of reaching the goal, a step-by-step -step approach or a dramatic all-out attack. The decision to mount a dramatic attack, to research, design, and build a house to demonstrate how sound and imaginative use of plastics freed the builder and the home buyer from many restrictions imposed by more conventional materials and to obtain factual data of concern to both the building industry and the plastics industry. It was a bold decision, one requiring imagination and courage. And as the months passed, it became a massive, multi-company cooperative project, one that would combine many materials, many technologies, many methods into a statement of what could be done with the first truly man-made materials the materials called plastics. Then, an idea with three dimensions, the result of many months of planning, developing, testing, and construction. The Monsanto House of the Future stands in Tomorrowland. An exciting, dramatic exterior. But would people really be interested in it? Here's just a part of the answer. Five to 10,000 people a day who wanted to get an idea of what a home in the future might be. Would I like it? What a dream. Imagine how wonderful it would be to live in a house like this. Just imagine. I'd be getting dinner in this kitchen. And what a kitchen. If you want more light, press a button. Any intensity of light through polarized plastic ceiling panels. Soft light, shadowless light. A dishwasher, of course. 
But this one, unlike any other. Washing is by ultrasonic waves. And the dishwasher is also the storage place for dishes. Plastic dishes, of course. Yes, living here could be fun, even to setting the table. What's happening here? In an ordinary house, we'd be talking about the refrigerator and freezer. But in this house of the future, we call them cold zones. Three of them, each lowered to handy position at the touch of a button. One zone for regular refrigeration, one for frozen, and one for irradiated foods. Design and science combine for the utmost in convenience and food preservation. Storage shelves, too, are of plastic and are lowered electrically from the overhead cabinets. A place for everything and at your fingertips. Yes, this kitchen almost gets dinner itself, but that wouldn't really be fun. The fun is making the most of the ultimate in kitchen convenience and efficiency. A dream of the future brought to reality by Monsanto. How do we cook? The range is different too. A microwave range that rises out of the counter. Various foods can be cooked here at the same time and yet everything done just right at amazing speed. And while we're on the subject of the very unusual, here's a complete climate control operated by this panel in the kitchen. Heat, air conditioning, ventilation, and even the scent of roses or salty sea air can be directed individually to every room. Unusual too are the floors, a vinyl plastic with a plastic foam underlay that clean in a jiffy, tough yet beautiful. Is everything of plastic? Almost. Dishes, cups, countertops, walls, floors, ceiling, tabletops, shelves and cabinets. Plastics in all their colorful, functional, and beautiful versatility have transformed a work area, have stepped it years ahead. No need to guess whose room this is. That's right, for the young man of the house. Here's the answer to the continuous activity of the younger set. Tough, durable materials, easily washable, Floors, walls, shelving, and furniture, plastic, in combination with plywood, fiberglass, and other materials. Even the fabrics on furniture are of man-made fibers. And for the young lady of the house, just look around. Here's a vanity which even seems fantastic for a dream of the future. A laboratory at one end, melamine surface and a telephone system which challenges the imagination. Push buttons instead of dial and no handset to disturb my lady's dressing. Just talk and listen. For the relaxation, a living room that is part of the character of everything we have seen. A feeling of space, of smooth, restful areas for living and resting. With your favorite stereophonic recordings on built-in high fidelity equipment. The bathroom for the youngsters is also futuristic. A laboratory that adjusts to height. No stretching or bending. For the grown-ups, another bathroom completely molded in two pieces with features that seem pure fantasy. 
built-in electric razor, and electric toothbrush. And here is something we'd all like to have. The same push-button phone we saw on the dressing table, but with the added attraction of a closed-circuit television receiver. The picture on the screen? Oh, that's of whoever is standing at your front door. You see him, but he doesn't see you. And you can give him any message you want over the two-way communication system. Adjustable, shadowless ceiling lighting, of course, with panelescent panels for night light. The bathroom of the future in the house of the future. The versatility of plastics comes sharply to the front in the master bedroom. Fabrics and furniture of materials unheard of a short time ago. Practical but comfortable. Serviceable yet beautiful. One last look through the thermal pane windows with decorative plastic laminated safety glass. Functional, beautiful, another dream of the future in the house of tomorrow. Oh, it would be wonderful. Or maybe someday. Yes, this whole thing, the house itself, the furnishings in it, offer a challenging new experience to stimulate your imagination toward newer and better ways of building furnishing and using our living space. An idea of what can happen when you take the rats. An idea of some of the elements that undoubtedly you will find when it comes your turn to build your house of the future.